I've tackled workarounds for etching glass and acrylic with weak lasers, but now it's time to take on the toughest material yet. Let's etch metal with lasers and acid. I wanted to start with a simple metal, so I cut up some bits of aluminum from old soda cans. But I also cut a piece of steel out of an old computer component and took an old hard drive plate as an option if things went incredibly well. But I started with the aluminum scraps, using both blue painter's tape and nail polish as masking mediums. After etching some test patterns, I brought everything outside and into a well-ventilated area because I needed to do something that is probably too dangerous for someone as dumb as me. So here's where things start to get a little dangerous. Muriatic acid. A couple things we have to be careful about. Fumes, uh, burning our skin, and uh, splatter. So I'm doing this outside on my porch and I don't have protective gloves or anything like that so I have to be extra careful. Uh, but let's see what happens. I started the etching and, as you can see, got no result at all. But I knew that this acid would gobble up aluminum, as I've tested on the bottom of aluminum cans before. And that's when I remembered an old episode of How It's Made, and I recalled that manufacturers add a protective coating to the inside of aluminum cans. I took another scrap of aluminum and scratched at it in order to remove any coating. Sure enough, the acid went straight to work. So I needed a better source for aluminum. I went back to my kid's tinker box and sawed some fins from an old CPU heat sink, masked them, and etched a design. These don't have a protective coating, but they do have a natural oxide layer, so the acid takes time to do its thing. While I waited on that test, I messed with the hard drive platter. I didn't have any luck with that. The finish was just too strong for the acid to break down. In the end, this is the best result I got, which is pretty ugly. Even with nail polish and trying to get the mask as clean as possible, this was still the clear winner. I feel like nail polish mixed with a weaker acid like vinegar would give a much better result. And while I didn't have the time to do a vinegar test, I would love to hear if any of you have tried it with success. And now that we've been through these tough materials, I'm looking at new ideas for this laser etching machine. If you have an idea or question, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to make it happen. Thanks for watching.